guys, it's Megan. It is Sunday morning and maybe you can tell, I don't know, you're pretty zoomed in, but we are in a new location. So I guess I'll get started while I tell you. Elf primer, of course. Um, yesterday I got the itch to organize and like clean my room because my room had gotten to be a disaster especially before we left for our trip and then when we came back I didn't have time to do anything because it's working blah 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 so I decided I would clean it cleaning it turned into completely reorganizing like everything so my vanity which is what we're at now used to be to my left at my left window right next to my bed now we are at the right window, right near like my dresser, my closet's right behind me. Um, and I like it so much better. It gives so much more room. I do want to do a room tour eventually. Um, I like this setup a lot better and um, I, I have some ideas of what to do with where we used to sit because I really still like that background like with my frames and then my dresser that I have all nice um but this I think will is just a good change because where we are sitting now used to be where I had like a corner tv unit um and I don't have that tv anymore I got rid of it yesterday and we're gonna donate the little stand because we don't need that anymore um so I just think this is really good and my makeup is to my left now it used to be um to my right and the, in my desk there's like a like shelves kind of to my right so it was like shelves then makeup so I could never get anything very easily now I have it right here I can pick out new stuff very easily and I think that it'll help me to use more of my collection so I'm really excited about that and um, I have no idea what I'm gonna do with my makeup I'm really inspired by my outfit I'm wearing this poofy flower headband that I got from Urban Outfitters literally probably seven years ago it was when I was in high school and um, yeah, I haven't worn it in years because I didn't think it was really my style anymore. But I'm wearing this dress that I got at um, JCPenney's that's just like kind of cute and girly and pretty and I thought that I went with it. So I'm kind of inspired by my outfit for my makeup. And I think I'm going to use my um, Makeup Geek shadows that Chloe gave me. And I did place an order with Makeup Geek. I'm not sure if they're still doing this promotion but they were having 10% off your order and Makeup Geek never ever has sales like it that's the only thing that I that has kind of deterred me not from trying it is because I like to get things on sale or like free shipping or whatever so since Marlena was having this 10% off sale I ordered some shadows that I've been really wanting so I can't wait till those come in um, I think I'm going to start with Cupcake in the Crease. This is a shadow I would have never chose for myself. Like, I would never think to get a pink shadow. But it really is versatile, which is kind of surprising. But I purchased some of the foils. Some, uh, Chloe gave me one, this in the spotlight. And I think I ordered two or three of those I wanted a lot more previously but when I was looking at swatches and thinking about what I would wear and what I already own I think I only ended up with like two or three or something okay what else I guess I'll do in the spotlight on my lid with my Sony Kesha concealer brush um, these foils are so magical like they seriously are so metallic so I can't wait to get the other ones um, I'm gonna have an epic birthday haul you guys like I have gotten some really awesome stuff that I've wanted for a while and I cannot wait to share it with you and um, my birthday party 
Um, I told my friends that I wanted like Sephora gift cards, so maybe I'll get some Sephora gift cards <laughs> and buy some stuff because there are still some things I want from Sephora. Usually I'm not like, I don't really go crazy at Sephora a lot. I probably do it like when they have their sales and the rest of the year I like never pretty much buy anything. Um, but I do want some stuff like I really want that new Makeup Forever HD Ultra foundation that sounds amazing. So I really do want that. Um, but it's kind of expensive so having the gift cards would be awesome. Okay, that's just really pretty. I might add a little bit of Cocoa Bear or something but let's just see. And I wanted to try out my Dolly Wink eyeliner. Um, this is something I got in LA and I think I'm going to post my LA haul tomorrow. So on Monday. Um, and my last LA vlog went up today. Oh, I can't believe it's over. But it's been nice to rewatch them and just relive it. Oh, this is nice. This really does remind me of my Jessie's Girl, which I'm so sad I cannot find anymore. I think I saw it on drugstore.com though, so that's good. Oh, this is good. Yeah, I just want something... Just a small wing. If only I could recreate it on both eyes easily. Like, there should be a copy and paste for so many things in life, but especially eyeliner. Like, oh, I did great on this eye. Copy and paste and reverse on this eye. That would be so great. I hope technology evolves so that can happen. And I also want, like, control F, like find, for stuff that you're, like, missing. Like, control find my sunglasses, control find my keys, like, whatever. So, these are just some hopes I have for the future maybe in my lifetime oh speaking of sunglasses I my skin is doing really well right now it's really awesome right now and the only places I have breakouts are here and here and I get pimples here like right where my eyeglasses or sunglasses like nose piece sits like every so often and since I was wearing sunglasses literally like 24 7 during our LA trip I think it just like clogged that pore and so it's like annoying then this I don't know where the heck that came from that might just be some sort of stress pimple but yeah my skin is doing really well I'm very 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 pleased okay foundation um, I did like this combo yesterday. I didn't find anything wrong with this. So, um, I'm gonna apply this and I really loved it with the contouring brush or sculpting brush. Oh god, I said contouring brush in my description. And I think I've mentioned this before, but everything that I talk about in my videos, on any video, what I'm wearing, like, uh, where it's from, blah blah blah, what my makeup is, all of that is always in my description box and I'm not sure how to like um, publicize that or something like how to make more people know that they can look in my description box for all sorts of information um, and I know some people do like um, click here like open the first line of it says like open me or whatever and when someone's description says that, do you, are you more likely to open it than if it doesn't tell you to open it? Um, if you are, please let me know. Or if you're not, please let me know because um, that would really help me actually. Because I do want people to see all the inform all the information that I'm typing in the description box and then there's like coupon codes and stuff like that. So um, yeah, that would be helpful. If, if you open people's description box more so when they have open me or like whatever they, whatever they say, please let me know so um, I can adjust mine or if no one opens it because they say open me, then I won't change it. So just let me know. I really love like hearing people's opinions on like YouTube stuff 
because I don't have you guys are like a focus group basically because you actually use YouTube. If I ask my friends like in real life, oh, do you do that? They'd be like, what is a description box? So yeah, you guys are my focus group and I might have more questions for you in the future. I'm sure I will. Oh, oh my God, that reminds me. I really want to do a Q and A. Um, I think I'm going to like post a picture on, on Instagram and like say, ask me your questions and in this description what am i saying in the comments below leave me any questions you have or message me or tweet me or type it to me on instagram seriously i want to do a q a so bad i get the itch to do it like every six months or so i really really want to do a q a so ask me any types of questions about like my personal life or beauty or YouTube or any advice questions I don't know anything you can think of weird or basic I don't care I would really love it I love doing Q&A's so yeah definitely leave those questions down below I'll probably ask in another video at least and on my Instagram so hopefully I'll get like a response because that's like that's my biggest fear asking for Q&A questions and getting like none oh yeah okay this foundation combo is actually really, really nice, and it held up pretty well yesterday. Um, I'm going to use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in Natural under my eyes, and I probably would repurchase this. I don't know. There's so much of it left. I don't have to think about that for a really long time, um, but I do, I do like it. So, you guys. Oh, so last night when... I went out to dinner with Jacob and Caitlin. It was so nice. It was so nice to see them. We went to the most amazing Mexican restaurant ever. Like, we don't have a lot of really awesome restaurants where we live, but this one was incredible. It was called Torre, and it was at the Promenade Shops in Stockton Valley, if you know where that is. Oh my god, it was incredible. We got to sit, like, a lot of restaurants in California I saw had this. Where it was like you were inside, but their like windows like lifted up so it was open. We got to sit right there. So it was like we were inside and outside at the same time. It was so nice. The waiter was awesome. We were like joking around with him all night and he was just so like friendly and helpful. And the drinks were amazing. The guacamole was amazing. We got the fruit guacamole, which I would have thought would be more like runny or like watery, but it was perfection it was just like normal guacamole with fruit added in it it was amazing i didn't really like what i got i got the chicken enchiladas or the verde enchiladas they were okay but it was just like too much mushiness like it needed an extra texture to it like something crunchy caitlin got the like limited edition special edition taquitos the um barbecue pulled pork incredible and Jacob got the fajitas and really love those and oh my god I'm talking and not doing my, my makeup but we also tried ceviche I had never had ceviche before we got the shrimp one because I don't really like the texture of raw like tuna so I didn't want to get that so we got the shrimp one I said that it tasted like cookies to me because the guy was since we were like talking to him and stuff I told him how I never had had ceviche before and he said, well, when it comes out, I'm going to come over and, like, stare at you and, like, see your opinion of it. So everyone was staring at me. So it was, like, a lot of pressure. And then um, I thought it tasted like lemon cookies because it was so lemony. Like, not the shrimp part, but just, like, everything else. And I was like, it tastes like cookies. And they were like, what kind of cookies do you eat? And I was like, oh, my God, you don't understand me. So, um, yeah, that was interesting. But... It was really, really good. I was very, very impressed with it, and I would definitely rec recommend it and go back. And uh, me and Caitlin were talking about it, and I think that it would be really nice to just go there for, like, drinks and, like, appetizers, or just, like, get, uh, like, get an entree or two to, like, split. Um, because we could have literally sat there for hours and it would have been awesome. So really, really recommend Torre. It's really delicious. I don't, it's not like a chain or anything. So I don't really know 
I don't think it is. I don't really know if you don't live near me what to really tell you, but it was really delicious. And then afterwards, um, they had one of our mutual friends was graduating from college and he was having a grad party, like a crazy like house party grad party. Um, and we were like the weird adults that like showed up and all these kids, like I'm saying kids, but I'm saying like 21 year olds and stuff. So I'm 23 now and I didn't think that was much older than 21, but apparently it is because we, it, when we arrive, people like dispersed, like <laughs> we must have looked like cops or something. I don't even know. It was just so weird. I have never felt so old in my entire life. Like I don't usually go to parties and stuff. So I don't know, maybe if I walked into any party that would happen but it was just so bizarre like no one would even talk to us or like be near us but that was fine because we just did our own thing but um yeah that was just quite a funny experience and oh my god you guys are gonna think i am such an idiot so when we were leaving i wasn't like drunk or anything like i had one um angry orchard which is the bomb and i was going in to his house to get Jacob's beer so we could leave and I ran like full force into his screen door like I did not see it whatsoever like all the lights were off pretty much like there was just like you know like uh string lights I like was walking like with purpose straight into the screen door like literally my whole face like bounced off it like I was really lucky that it wasn't glass because I would have broke my entire face <laughs> but thankfully since these kids like had wanted nothing to do with us no one was paying attention so no one saw it but oh my god that is such a me thing too like who does that even happen to and then caitlin told me caitlin and jacob i can't remember who said this but one of them told me later that they um purposefully closed it earlier in the night because they were like oh um then people will know that it's there and i was like well clearly that didn't work because i didn't see it at all um but yeah these are the things that you guys don't get to experience with me because I'm just sitting here. But if you were with me in real life, you'd think I was really, really crazy or something. And um, at dinner, this was so interesting. So Jacob usually doesn't offer up too much information. Like usually we have to like beg things out of him pretty much. And that's how he's always been. Um, but he was telling us at his new job that they had to do, it was kind of like a team building exercise or something, that they had to answer certain questions to figure out, um, like what type of person they were in like four categories. So it was like you were either an entertainer, a thinker, a feeler, or a controller. And Jacob is like 100% a controller. Like, 100%. So when he was telling us the story, we were like cracking up because we couldn't even believe he would tell us this, that like in a actual study, he is a controller. So that was just really funny. But apparently, according to him, I am an entertainer, which means that you always want to be the center of attention and like you want to like please people. You want to, I guess, um, like please people but also be the center of attention um which is actually me um so that was what I would be and then um I just thought it was so funny that he would actually like willingly tell us that I don't know because now we will never let him live that down like ever that's just how we are as friends um but yeah, the t last night was just really, really fun. I miss seeing Caitlin and Jacob like together, all three of us, because it doesn't happen a lot, like I said. Um, but it's really nice when it does. And um, I can't wait to see them for my birthday party. I'm so, so excited. And um, I, I don't know if I'll, I do want to like vlog, I guess, at Hibachi but 
I don't think I would, I might vlog, I don't really know. I will see what strikes me, but I do want to remember hibachi and stuff and all my friends being together in one place. So there might be a vlog um, of that when my birthday party happens. So that'll be fun. And I don't think you can see it, but I have my dress already picked out. It's that red one, if you can see it hanging up. I don't know if you can. Um, but it's one that I got from Misguided. It is so, so cute. It's the one that has like the laced up sides and then a open back. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. I cannot wait to wear that. Um, and I ordered a pair of shoes from Nordstrom, but they haven't even shipped yet and I need them. So I don't know what is really, if that's going to work out or what's going to happen, so... Nord the, okay I love Nordstrom with all of my heart and soul like they have amazing customer service like seriously I emailed them because I forgot to add my samples for my whatever like my beauty purchase and they're like oh don't worry about it we made a separate like transaction so you'll get them and I was like you guys are actually amazing so um, yeah, but the only negative is that their shipping takes ages. Like, I, it's free, um, free shipping, no matter if you buy, like, a $5 thing or, like, a $1,000 thing, it's free shipping. But it, it takes a long time to get to you. So, um, I guess I should have ordered these stupid shoes before, but I wasn't thinking clearly, I guess. Um, but they're just like nude, like sling back pumps, which I really just needed a basic pair of, of shoes. So, of heels. So yeah, I don't know if I'm doing anything today. I kind of want to do something because I just like cleaned my room yesterday and then went out to dinner. So that was doing something. Um, what kind of lip do I want though? Uh, I just want to put on Nourishing Nude. This is the new one so it like barely shows up. It's like barely a color. But it smells good so that's what matters. So I think I did everything. Let's see what earrings to wear with this. With my inspired outfit. You guys I ordered so much stuff. Oh my god. Yeah I'm gonna have a massive haul. I cannot wait. Okay. So that is that. I hope you guys enjoyed. I hope you like this new angle and I am going to be doing something on where we used to sit so I can film here and there, which I think will be, that's just really exciting for me. So um, yeah, so I thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're having a great weekend and I will see you soon. Bye.